What's up guys, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a Mac within under 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's start the video. So yeah, I've got my hard drive on my desktop. I've got a couple of photos that I use for my tutorials, in my videos. I like to keep a clean desktop. i got also a Ubuntu.iso. I use that for VirtualBox. Very rarely, only on a couple of occasions when I'm doing my networking, when I need to do net, net kit configuration and whatever. My desktop is always clean. There's a reason for that because when you boot into your OS, it has to go through all the files on the desktop and then it can boot in. The more space you have available on your Mac, the quicker it takes for your OS to boot into, for, for your computer to boot into your OS. That's the reason I just cleared all my garbage. That's the reason why I have 311 gig free. Most of my things are stored on an external hard drive, USB, 64 gigabyte USBs and 500 gigabytes of external storage. Keep a free Mac, or should I say, more than 300 gigabytes of free storage and then your Mac will run quicker. So if I do this, spacebar, you can see what's in this file. Let me open that here, it's just some JavaScript. Close that, open this. Spacebar on that, same thing's happening. Let me close all of that, let me open Haskell. Do this, up, up down you can actually view your source code just by a spacebar it's quite nice all right spacebar there you go some source code so my desktop is always clear there's not really anything on there i mean if i was to get rid of this my virtual box wouldn't work so that's why i'm not touching that clean desktop boots in fast to the os so now i always hide my dock the reason for that is because i don't need those extra pixels being taken away Go to Finder. Finder is the best place to store your work, documents, music, movies, pictures. Your home directory is also here as well. So let me click that. That's my home directory. I like to have my favorites, all my files, AirDrop, utilities, applications, you know, the desktop, downloads, library, whatever, music, movies, pictures, home directory, hard drive. Microsoft 2011, Google Drive. Okay, so let me get out of that. Let me go back into Finder. So you're probably wondering, why does he always end up from the hard drive for the users to Ray and Abdullah Documents Computer Science second year? I've made it like that because then I don't need to navigate constantly. So go to File, not File, sorry, Preferences. Go to General, and then New Finder window shows this, so you can change it if you want to. Tags, I very rarely use that. Go to blue, computer like second year. Only on some occasions do I ever use that. If you do control T, opens up a new tab. I have something called hyperdoc, and then I can just do this. Yep, I can also do this. So if I open up the internet browser, I can do two things simultaneously together without being interrupted, you know, let me close that, let me close this, let me open up Finder. If I do this, it shows the whole Finder window on the whole screen. I can also go full screen if I wanted to, but we're not here today to talk about full screen. I choose library, let's look at that. Close Firefox, there we have more RAM available. Also have something called clean my, not clean my, yeah, clean my Mac 3. It shows the memory available, shows the memory you're using, shows the battery available, shows what's in your trash, shows your hard drive memory available. So your iTunes, like I said, I deleted about 70, 70 gigabytes of music, not deleted, just stored into an external hard drive because I don't really use that. When the Mac boots into your OS, it has to go through all the music, all the documents, and then it boots into the OS. Like I said before, my boot ups used to, or boot in, when the Mac used to boot into the OS, it used to take about two and a half minutes after I got rid of all the things I didn't need. It only takes about one and a half minutes, one minutes to boot into the OS. What do I have in my system preferences? General, show all, display, color. I like to keep all these on top. So the Wi Fi, you know, the volume, Bluetooth, Time Machine, Clean My Max. 
ScreenFlow, which I'm recording the video with. I like Cyberduck. GitHub as well is nice. Android Studio, I will be using that in the future. Adobe Reader Calculator, a calendar terminal for my scripting and whatever, bash scripting, putting in my commands, Sublime Tech, these are all text editors. Activity Monitor just shows you what things you have available, what your CPU is doing, how fast your computer is running, get rid of the memory that you don't need, release some memory, get rid of that as well. If you do this, you can search for something. Hello. Documents. Click that. There you go, it leads me into my documents. You can use a shortcut, such as, let that open. Command W to hide it. Just get rid of it. Command H will hide it. It's still there. Command Q just takes it out. New find a window. You can make a new folder if you want by new folder. Hello. You can do move this to the trash, and then you can do command secure empty trash. Cleans the trash securely. You can go to your launch pad, look at what apps you have, make folders. You know, it's a quicker way of, just a neater way, a neater presentation. Get out of that. Mission Control just tells you what's on your desktop, your multiple desktops that you have. Three finger swipe, left, right. I can change my toolbar. Not toolbar, I can go to preferences. Sidebar, so some sidebar advanced general. If I do customize toolbar, yes, that's correct. Start adding things, taking things out. Icon only, icon on text. That's the way I wanted it. Okay, done. There you go. I can make a zip if I wanted to. Java, compress the file into a zip format. There it is. I don't need that today, so I can just delete that. That was just for the demo. You can also view images from your Mac. So if I go into this, if I go to this, click that, you can view an image. You don't have to open the image up, you can just view it from Spacebar. If I go back to this finder, I can also arrange something from the name. You can also arrange it in terms of the name. Let me go back to this. Arrange it in the name, it's kind, but I like to keep it as name. If I do this, then it goes back to right, left, Swiping, I should say. Open Microsoft Word, see what's on there. Open Terminal as well. Clear that. I can also start controlling things from a terminal. Clear. Print working directory, where am I at? CD, gets out of everything. LS minus L, shows you your whole home directory, what's in there. I can do, I can change directory. CD, 66, computer science, second year. Yeah, that was incorrect. Let's go back to the terminal. Just made a mistake. C 
cd I can also start adding folders if I wanted to but I'll show you how to do that I mean I made a video a couple of months ago to show you all the basic commands and trips and ticks on what you can do trips and tricks and tips on easy commands and shortcuts to make a folder delete a folder whatever go back into finder still need to do get rid of this quit that Downloads, nothing much. Library, documents. Oh yeah, something about deleting the cache always comes up. Go to the folder, enter, delete this cache, move to the trash, go to here, no, it was hard drive. Go into library, go to your caches. You need to delete this as well. Move to the trash, put in my password, close that empty the trash and watch what happens here where my hard drive is other than it can't be deleted because some things are using being used so I just keep continuing it it gets deleted gets deleted gets deleted it's releasing more free storage the more storage you have more storage available the more faster your Mac runs the faster its performance the more RAM available like I said Installing more RAM is always the best opportunity or best way to enhance its performance. The more RAM, the more better it is, more pages you can open, more work you can do at the same time. Oh yeah, I need to show you how to open two applications at the same time if you ever needed to do that. But I have made a video about that, you can go check that out if you want. Okay, so now I'll continue. Secure empty trash, that's the only way you can get rid of that. While that's deleting, what else should we look at? System preferences. Go back onto here. Start changing the desktop or background or whatever. Nice desktop colors. For some reason, I don't want to just love this one, but this is a nice background. But I'm used to this for some reason, the wave. Okay, that's the background changing. What else do we need to do? Sound, speaker, left, right, whatever. Keep it to the frog. iCloud, internet accounts, network, Bluetooth sharing. Everything you need is on here. MySQL, Java, Fuse, Flash Player, DVDs and CDs, obsolete, so you don't really need those anymore. That's it really, when you put a CD in, it opens up DVD player. When you put a CD, a picture CD, opens up iPhoto when you set a music CD opens up iTunes whatever yep CDs are obsolete so if you don't need CDs you don't need to even watch that part alright get out of this that's it really I now to use a Mac within 10 to 15 minutes like I've showed you how are we doing for time you know, it's gone way more than 10 minutes so you can't really use a Mac can't really learn to use a Mac within 10 minutes. You have to use, you have to be able to learn it within under 20 minutes because 10 minutes, if, you, if you've learned a Mac in 10 minutes, you're a professional genius. Open this up, what is this? This is the introduction to C programming language, the PDF file, I could've just done this. Viewed it like this, but if you need to open it in full, you can if you want to. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works too. It should have worked. That also works. There you go. Control Z, what was that? Oh yeah, that was just a shortcut. Don't really need that. 
get out of that. Hide that. Command Alt D brings back the dock. Command Alt D hides the dock. Quit that. Quit that. Let's go on dock. Dock preferences. Size of the dock. Magnifying is on max. I can put the max magnifying glass. So when you click over, that's what happens. Not really used to that. Put it on the right, see what happens. Put it in large. Not really for me. I mean, if I wanted to do that, I would I would have upgraded to OS 10 Yosemite, but that's not for me. Get out of that. Change the dock back to normal. There you go. Hide the dock like usual. All right, that's it for this tutorial or video or how to use a Mac within 10 to 15, 20 minutes. Thanks. I'll see you guys in the next video.